let's have some more fun on Hack the Box. All right, guys, so first off, uh, let's go ahead and bring up everything. Uh, you guys like the first one, the meow, so we'll, you know, go ahead and continue this. Uh, the first one, connect to, um, you know, starting your VPN or whatever. Go ahead and um, you go up here on your starting point and uh, start your machine. Once you have your machine up, you can go ahead and open up a terminal. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll just use the mate because I really like that one. But you can use any of the terminals that you prefer. We already um, clicked here and we have our target machine. If you haven't already, go ahead and uh, click on the uh, button that should be there. And um, once you get your target IP address, go ahead and click it so you can copy it. And we're gonna just do a test ping. And again, this will allow us to see if it's actually um, able to connect, making sure everything is good. And yeah, we're able to get a connection and then we hit a control C right there to um, stop that. So now let's go ahead and go over the questions on this. So uh, task number one, what does the three letter acronym FTP stand for? Now, if you didn't know this, you can always just Google it. Google is definitely your friend. You can also ask ChatGPT, but the answer for this is a uh, file transfer protocol, bam. And again, you can just copy and paste it, and then you can um, look at it on uh, Google. Uh, task number two, which port does the FTP service listen on usually? Now for this one, if you don't already know it, again, you can always Google it. But what we'll do, we're gonna go ahead and do an MMAP on this target. And we actually may be able to get the answer, but if you guys don't know, the network map allows us to um, kind of see like the open ports of the uh, target. I don't, I don't think it necessarily allows you to see every single port um, because sometimes you may have to put in a um, additional command to open up all the ports, but that will take longer. And map is kind of like a quicker version of that uh, that allows you to see the ports um, without it taking too long, pretty much. Later on, we'll go over some of those other ones, uh, other commands too, to open up like hidden ports or ports that are like hard to um, like bring up, they aren't as fast. And bam, we have um, our port 21 TCP open FTP. Now on this one, it says, what does the FTP service li listen on usually? And as we, as we can see right here, our FTP service, it looks like it's running on port 21 so let's go ahead and try 21 and bam we got our answer right there for uh, task number two now task number three uh, what acronym is used for the secure version of FTP now we know what FTP is uh, file transfer protocol looking at this we see four <laughs> letters so we're kind of just using, you know, some uh, context clues. Maybe a secure version would be maybe an S at the beginning, like a secure file transfer protocol. And then bam, SFTP, secure uh, file transfer protocol. Again, if you're not for sure, you can always just um, Google, you know, what is a secure version of FTP and it should uh, pop up and we'll just do it right here. Just real quick. Yeah, secure, um, the secure version of FTP is called SFTP. So bam, good old Google, it can definitely be your friend there. And we got a few more to go through that will hack this machine. So number four, what is the command we can use to send an ICMP echo request to test our connection to the target? And again, that is the uh, first commands I like doing on these, which was the ping command. And I'll just show you guys that again, just real quick. We'll ping and we'll just copy and paste our uh, target right there. And we'll paste that here. And as you can see, we see the ICMP right there. ICMP, ICMP, ICMP. So 
it's showing it right there, which is cool. And um, if you like have too much text and you want to um, like not have the text or clear it, you can just type in clear and it'll clear everything out from the screen. So just type in clear if you want to clear the screen off. So let's go ahead and go back ping. All right, number five. From your scans, what version is FTP running on the target? All right, so from your scans, what version is FTP running on the target? All right, so we're gonna, at first, we're gonna do an M map real quick. So we can just bring that back up without all the extra um, text on here. Oh, wow. Let's copy and paste this again. Let's clear the screen and do an M map. Bam. All right. So let's go back from your skin with version. Okay. So as you guys can see, we don't, we're not seeing the version on this. So for this, we're going to go ahead and um, when we run our M map, we're, we're also going to look at the uh, service version. So I want to get this info on top of um, like the version as well. So we're going to uh, do an M map and we're going to use this command S um, in a uh, uppercase V. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not exactly for sure if a lowercase V will actually work. I don't think I've ever tried it. And then we're going to go ahead and do the uh, target, our target's uh, computer. And we're going to type that in. Bam. And again, for some of these commands as well, again, if you weren't for sure what this command would be, but always Google, like, how would I find the version? Like, how would I find the version of an FTP? For example, you can always just Google that. Um, also to keep it techy, I wrote it on, on my last video, but he, ha ha he has a three hour course on uh, Linux. Some of the fundamental commands and whatnot. Definitely recommend you guys checking that out. Even tonight, if you can, that can definitely help you out on this. So now uh, with this, we're able to see more info and we are able to see the version now. And up here, we didn't have it. We just had port, state, and service. Now we also have the version. And as you can see, we have our um, info right here, the VSFTPD 303. You can go ahead and just copy this. And then after you copy it, you just paste that right there. And that will give you the answer for uh, task five. Now, for task it, uh, six, from your scans, what OS, which stands for operating system, what operating system type is running on the target? And we should be able to see that with our new info. And as you can see, service info, operating system, Unix. So you just copy in that and paste that right here for Unix for number six. Now let's go ahead and go to number seven. What is the command we need to run in order to display the FTP client help menu? Now for the help menu, uh, this command is usually something that you can like the same, like it's usually like the same command for everything, which is um, this right here, like a dash and an H, oh, a dash and an H is usually for a uh, help. So if you wanted to find the help for the client of the FTP, it will be the FTP and then the H. So it will be, let me go ahead and show you guys FTP and then help. And then it kind of just helps you out with the, um, like the command you can use, you know, with that. For this one with FTP, if we typed in something else, maybe like TCP help, we'll get, you know, information or help on using the, um, TCP, etc., etc. So if you're always like, if you need help, just go ahead and um, type in the type in the uh, dash help on whatever um, service that you're trying to look at. So that's um, task number seven. Task number eight. What is the username that is used over FTP when you want to log in without having an account? So um, let's go back real quick. And wait, before we do this, let me copy this again. And now we're gonna go ahead and um, actually try to get into this. Uh, 
this computer. So we'll just clear this one more time just so it's just easier for you guys. But you can just scroll down as well. We're gonna do an M map, bring that up again, and then we're gonna paste um, our target computer. Now we're gonna go ahead and try to connect to it. And the open port that we're able to connect into is the FTP. So we're gonna do an FTP and then the target's um, IP address again. And we're, again, we're getting the FTP from up here. That's the open port that we see from uh, port 21. And then bam, okay, it's asking for our name. Now, <clears throat> from looking at this, just from looking at this, I, I, like, I already know the answer. And then with an S, but um, you can always, Google, if you're not for sure. The answer for this one is anonymous. But again, if you're not for sure, you could try anonymous. I guess you could try maybe root and other things like of, of like that nature. But um, when you Google it, you're getting this info here. And it's saying that anonymous FTP is the um, FTP that does not require a unique username. And again, it's saying that the anonymous FTP is usually anonymous. The password is usually the user's email address for the password. But yeah, as you can see, anonymous popping up several places. So again, if you need help with that, you can always Google it. So let's go ahead and uh, type in anonymous. And now um, on our last one, when we went over some of the different passwords that are usually common, like root, um, admin, administrator, those are some. Also too, sometimes they're gonna, it, it can be nothing. So we're, we're, gonna, we're not gonna put anything in, we're gonna just push the enter button. And voila, we are connected um, to the service. And as you can see now, we're using the FTP inside of it. So again, uh, for task number eight, it's anonymous. And then what is the response code we get for the FTP message, log in successful? And let's go back. And if we go back in, because we were able to connect successfully, we see the login successful, and we see a number right there, right beside it, 230. That would be the code. What is the response code for the login successful? And again, the response code is right there on the left side of it. Literally like the only numbers by login successful, and that's 230. So let's go ahead and you know, it's the copy and paste 230 right there. All right, guys, we're almost finished. You guys are almost done with hacking uh, this machine. So for task 10, there are a couple of commands we can use to list the files and directories available on the FTP server. One is uh, DIR, I guess for directory. What is the other that is a common way to list files on a Linux system? And guys, if you guys saw the first one, I think you guys already know. If you don't, again, you can always Google this, but the answer is um, LS. So we can go ahead and get a list. <laughs> and it kind of just tells you that right there. Uh, L LS list, kind of going right there. So yeah, you will use the list. And if we um, type in LS here, we'll get a list of what is, um, in the target's uh, computer. And we're able to see uh, only one TXT file, which is our flag, thankfully. So now let's go ahead and um, go over the last two. Task 11, what is the command used to download the file we found on the FTP server? So on our um, previous one, you guys already know we used the cat command to open up the file pretty much in like written text so we can read it to download a file but not necessarily open it up we would use the get command so i'm gonna i'm gonna show you guys what i'm talking about here so we're, we're gonna use the git and then we're gonna type in the um the file that we want which is the flag.txt and bam we now have the file downloaded uh, for ourselves. So this would be git, bam. And the last one, submit the root flag. Let's go back. 
So um, instead of us, like, you can do this two ways. I guess you can do this multiple ways. One way you can just exit out the terminal, open up a new terminal, and then we can try to you know, open up the file and read it. Or we can just go ahead and um, just exit out. To exit, you just type in exit. And now look at that, 221, goodbye. All right, so now we're back on our machine. Let's clear everything out just so it's able, you know, just so it's easier to um, see. And now we're gonna go ahead and open up the file so we can able, you know, so we're able to read it. Now, for this, again, like if you, if you forgot what file you opened up or the file that you downloaded, you can just type in ls again to list everything but if you remember then you're good to go and you would just type in cat again and then the, the file name the file name for this one is flag.txt and we would hit enter and then bam we have our info right here which is the 035 and all the other numbers and you would just copy that and then go back and paste that there and that will give you the answer for uh, the flag. So yeah guys, hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial on number or machine number two, Fawn. Uh, you guys seem like, you guys, at least from the views and uh, one of the comments I got, you guys like Meow, hopefully you guys like Fawn and uh, yeah, I'll try to continue these throughout, you know, very easy and then hopefully we can steadily increase our hacking skills. But um, yeah, guys, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe.